Hello, my fam. I'm so happy to be smiling and to take my kids out on an adventure and to surprise them with something as well. A two for one outing and a two for one video because I'm also going to give you a life update and some wisdom that hopefully might give you inspiration and comfort. <laughs> I went to the gym this morning. Yes. And I didn't have a great workout. And I'm going to tell you something that I've told you before, but repetition is a way that we learn. Repetition is a way that we train the brain. As I've said repeatedly and as was evidenced to me this morning, a crappy workout is better than no workout. I felt better leaving the gym than when I got there this morning. And I am so glad that I don't have any desire truly to eat anything unhealthy today. I did that during Thanksgiving. Actually, not for that long, but for two and a half days. Wednesday, Thanksgiving, and then Black Friday, I ate, and I overate, and I ate to the point of feeling sick, really. Like, I just, it didn't make me feel good, but I did it anyways, because I'm like, oh, I can, and I want to, and I did want to, but, but I don't want to anymore, because I did not feel well afterwards. Like, my body was in shock, <laughs> really. And I just want to let you know that, one, you can do it. You can reprogram your brain. The holidays are not five weeks, okay? <laughs> Don't say, oh, I'm going to just splurge for the next five weeks and then rein it in in January. No, 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 okay? It takes work consistently to be healthier. And I'm going to repeat something else. I have found that a healthier body is a healthier mind and a healthier body and mind is a healthier person and a happier life. Healthier is happier. And thankfully, I am feeling like I'm getting little signs that things are going to be better and I apply my work ethic to everything in life because hard work pays off and who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll be like, <sniffs> I'm dealing with a lot <laughs> and dealing with kids and one of my kids broke something today. But you know what? When other things are breaking, it puts things into perspective and you, you, you've got to not sweat the small stuff, as they say. Um, I'm thrilled that today my mother got out of the house. She's not here. She didn't want to leave and she's not really out and about. But my sister said, I'm going to pick you up and take you to my house. So I'm very happy about that. It's good for her to get out of the house. She doesn't want to get out of the house. So even if she's in somebody else's house today, at least that's a good thing. And today I'm taking the kids to the circus. Not just any circus, a Christmas themed circus. Two of my favorite things. I love circuses and I love the holidays. So poof, combine that. And it's a uh, Cirque Christmas, a very merry Chris, a very merry Cirque Christmas. I believe that's the exact name, but I'll I'll show you the playbill and confirm that in the in the caption as well. Um, it's not affiliated with Cirque du Soleil. I believe I've seen them before. I believe I saw them in New York City many years ago with my son and possibly no, just just with my son and. Um, and I have a special treat, fun thing that I'm also going to do with my kids. 
since we're going to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Dolby Theater, it's right there in the middle of it all. Uh, I'm going to surprise them with some with something really cool. And um, God, how lucky am I to live here, to go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame today, to get to experience all that I do. I'm very blessed and so thankful for you watching and thankful that so many of you have been helping out by going to PerezHilton.com and clicking on some ads. I still support my family with that. I don't ask anything else these days. I don't want to ask anything other than what you can do for free. So pause this video or after you're done watching it, go to PerezHilton.com. Please click on a few ads. It is free. It'll take just a minute or two of your time and it would help so much. All right, let me go tell the kids what we're doing today. Healthier, you've got this. All right, let me actually, I'll, I'll give you some more concrete, like superpower concrete bits of advice. Meal prep, it is incredibly important. It helps so much. I meal prep once a week. I don't do any of my own cooking. I go to Trader Joe's and I buy all of their pre-made stuff. Everything I, I eat in a week is pre-made. I've shared videos in the past of all the things I eat in a day. If you're curious, you can search it on this YouTube channel. So meal prep, work out every day and schedule it first thing in the morning. And if you meal prep, include your snacks, include everything I do. And by working out first thing in the morning, you feel like you've already accomplished something. You're already winning and there's no excuses. You did it. You got it done with and out of the way. I just know if I left it for 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., if I'm having an incredibly busy day at work, I can't extricate myself and, and make the time then. I have to do it before I start working and before life starts going at 100 miles per hour. So those, I think, are two great tips. Another one is high protein. I take a lot of protein in many different ways. Protein powder, you know, turkey, chicken, just high protein and, you know, cut out sugar if you can. I only have a fat-free Greek yogurt as my sugar. Uh, and then, of course, obviously, my protein shakes probably have some sugar in it. But, you know, no ice cream, no Snickers, none of that stuff. Um, because I want to live a healthy, happy, long life. And I want that for you, too. And I want you to have all of your dreams come true next year. And I want you to realize that you may not have everything right now, but you have more than enough. You have your will and you have the way. Okay, let's go tell the kids. All right, kids. I've got some good news and some bad news. Ah, especially bad news. The bad news is there is no bad news. I'm only kidding. I'm going to take you guys out to do something very cool. We are going to go to the circus. And it's a special Christmas show. A Christmas circus. Why are you reacting like that? I want to be fun. Yay! It is fun. What are you talking it is about? Like that. Um, so los que decoraron para Navidad y van a hacer malabares y cosas así. Yes, there's going to be acrobats and it's going to be super cool. And there might be another surprise, maybe. Let's all finish getting dressed. Mario, you gotta get dressed. Let's go. There are, the girls are already dressed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we are here. It's super festive. And I have a surprise for you, kids. I am gonna take you to Ghirardelli. It's right across the street. It's a chocolate store. Yay! I already went to this place, remember? That's the ice cream place. Ghirardelli is across the street. It's I already a... went to this place. Before. All right, well, let's go to the chocolate store. It's a very special chocolate store. So they've shut down Hollywood Boulevard because they're getting ready for the Hollywood Christmas Parade. The Hollywood Christmas Parade is a big annual tradition. 
I don't know, I love coming to Hollywood and Highland. It's like I'm in Times Square, but not as pedestrian friendly. All right, Ghirardelli Soda Fountain and Chocolate Shop. All right, let's decide what we're gonna get. It can't be ice cream, because it needs to be something that we can take with us and eat while we walk, so we're not late for the show. What about, what about this and we share it? No, I don't like bagels. Okay, come over here, come over here. Here we go. I like this. I'll let you each get two. No, why? Two. You can each get two. I want two kids. Can I, can I get four each? No, two. Three, four. Three. No. Three. Two. No, two. Three. Two. Two. Not two. Two is more than, choose wisely. <laughs> You don't need to weigh this, Mia. They're individually packaged. Just get two each. Mario, don't do that. There's no need to weigh them. No, you're gonna get two. Two is enough for each of you. But why anybody? Because you don't need, three is too much. It's unhealthy. But why can't we not get one of those? Oh, no. No, cho chocolates, we're getting chocolates. Two each. This is the best one, I think. Peppermint bark. Why? The milk chocolate peppermint bark. No, the, that I love it. It's very special. It's got candy cane. No, don't get, don't get the dark chocolate one. Get the get this one. No, we're here getting candy. Ooh, mint chocolate. That's a good one too. All right, no. which one are you getting? I need two. Well, can I just get one? No, you don't I need. need. No. Yeah. No. I need one. No. I need one two is already a treat. You're not going to convince me. Might to pick two, two of the chocolates. I want one of Oh, you don't need to get that. That's wasted, wasting plastic. Just carry them in your hands. Come on, Mike, they pick your two. I don't know what they You want me to pick them for you? Here, I'll help you. Oh, that one's good too. Ooh, yeah, is... my one did. You want that one? Yeah. Okay. You want two of the same? Get get two different ones. No, I want this one. Okay. All right, let's go. Can we eat it in the circus? No, you can't eat it inside the theater. What? It's not a TV. Hey. Yeah. How is it? Yum. 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 White chocolate, I like it. Oh, yours is a white chocolate candy cane. enough you don't need to eat more than two each let's go and my favorite thing for those six little chocolates the total was just three dollars and eight cents we had a little outing before the show they each got to select whatever kinds of chocolate they wanted and ch I'm cheap I'm cheap so I like that it's not expensive three dollars and eight cents And now the show is at the Dolby Theater, the iconic Dolby Theater home to the Oscars. 
Oh, very young Meryl Streep in 1980. Jimmy Stewart and Ginger Rogers. Tom Hanks. History. Jack Lemon and Eva Marie Saint. And for those of you curious, the show is called A Magical Cirque Christmas. That's all their socials. All right. And, 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 and almost all of that. Oh, let's go. They're starting. Let's go. We are where the slap happened. This is such a cool theater, Mario. It's historic. They just got a private magic show by the fabulous Lucy Darling. She was really awesome. I couldn't film any of the actual show. They have strict rules inside the Dolby Theater. Strict. Thank you, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. But it was super fun. And I love that it wasn't just the acts. Like there was some live singing as well and the singer was awesome. And the hostess with the mostest, I love that that Lucy Darling. I, I expect to see her doing more because there aren't enough women in magic. So she does magic and comedy and hosting. And uh, then, of course, there's the aerialists and hula hoop artists and really impressive variety acts. Um, super fun. Did you enjoy it? What was your favorite? Oh, there was levitation. That was a really cool moment. Lucy did that. What was your favorite part? The bicycle. The bicycle? I mean, the guy on the skateboard. The skateboard. No, the bicycle when you were sleeping. Oh, I fell asleep for a minute. <laughs> All right, she's got to go to the bathroom. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I'm an old father. What was your favorite part? Oh, giving her a hug. All right, my friend, from the bottom of my nose, thank you for watching. If you are an ender, you're the 1%. Everybody, make sure you're subscribed, turn the notifications on, listen to my podcast at perezpodcast.com, get my gummies at mytrue10.com, click a few ads on my website at perezhilton.com, Hit that like button, share this video, and in the comment section down below, say Annie. Annie. Mwah. Bye.